Hey gang, this is Carlo on here. This is a uh, customer engine bill number 113. It's a 355 for Mike Parnell. What we have is uh, the basic non splayed cap block. It gets uh, machined locally. The uh, pictures here are right at the final cleaning. So it's a two bolt LT1 block season core and it's uh, going to be ARP main studs. The block has already been painted. I painted it and cleaned it. Now we set the shop up, clear out some nice space and getting ready to put the cam bearings in first there's a picture of one of the bearings it's hard to get a picture of all of them all at once the cylinder heads were according to mike they were damaged at one point and this is as good of a repair as possible it doesn't i don't think it's going to hurt the head gasket seal camshaft from lloyd elliott Later, you'll see the cam card. It's a billet core. I love billet cores. They're so much stronger. So here's the cam card. And a picture for me. See that steel ball in the uh, oil galley hole there? That's the, uh, the, the plug in between. the. Uh, it separates the oil filter passage so that oil can go to the oil filter and there's the front galley plugs and just before I put the camshaft plug the rear plug in that's a picture of the serial numbers of the camshaft I found uh, a way to refurbish the water pump drive with those Timken uh, bearing bushings that's the front of the block with the uh, oil with the water pump drive and the camshaft installed and this is a used GM steel 350 crank. Got that from uh, from a local area, and we had to machine it 10 under for the rods, 10 under for the mains. So the bearings there are King HP series, and of course they're 10 under bearings. They actually are ten thousandths thicker. The clearance came out good. I only had the one set, so, so the generally 0 .0027, and then the thrust is like 0 .0035, I think it was. Not the thrust, but the uh, number five bearing. Then the crank thrust was measured, and that was. 0 0.005, I don't have a picture of that. Oh no, there it is right there. So, I put the crankshaft in and uh, I didn't notice it until I put it in. There was some real sharp edges and so I, I deburred that, being careful not to get uh, metal anywhere. And the uh, pistoners rods are assembled and that's as far as I got today. So more on this engine later. All right, this is Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines. Take care.